Hey, this is Robert with True Clean Carpet Cleaner out of Greenville, North Carolina. I just want to do a quick video in reference to my experience with uh, Courtney Lee and how he has helped me grow my business. Um, just a little background about myself. I've been in the cleaning industry about 16 years. Um, I started when I got out of the military. I answered an ad in the newspaper for uh, Carpet Cleaner Wanted and make $1,000 a week. So I worked with that company about six months. And I discovered that they were a bait and switch company, so I wanted to get that out of that as quick as possible. But I did stick around that long because, in the back of my mind, I wanted to start my own business. I thought it would be easy, um, so I tried to learn everything I could from them, and then I left. Now I left that company with no knowledge of cleaning carpet, no proper education. Only education I had was the on-the-job training. I had zero knowledge on how to uh, market um, and then of course equipment the only equipment I was using was what they showed me I had no knowledge of any other equipment at that time so uh, my business didn't last very long it lasted less than a year and then my wife was like hey Bob you better go get a real job <laughs> we got bills coming in so uh, I did I became a police officer I've been a or was a police officer for 13 and a half years now that whole time I was cleaning carpet on the side because it's something I love to do, you know, it was a hobby. So I would clean for friends and family. I did not really try to grow my business, but just to make extra money. Um, in 2015 I had an injury that pretty much pushed me out. Um, I was on light duty for about a year and uh, I went to the doctor and he said, is there anything else you can do in life because I cannot release you back to full duty. So, I spoke to my wife who decided, hey, I can try to uh, do my business again. Now, I always wanted to try to restart my business, but I was scared because I failed the first time. So, I never did. I never left the police department on my own to pursue that because I was terrified of failing again. But this time, I was being pushed out with no choice. So, and it's the only other thing I kind of knew about. So in 2016, I restarted my business. I started doing research online, and I ran across uh, Courtney Lee's uh, YouTube channel. I started following him. I started watching his videos. I learned a lot from those. Um, I was really impressed with the way he engaged with his clients. He was videotaping all his work. Um, that's something I do now that I picked up from Courtney, which at first I thought was crazy. But um, video marketing, marketing has really helped my business grow and eventually I did make contact with Courtney he helped me uh, organize my business um, at that time uh, I was using he helped me get onto uh, house call pro I'm now using today Marquette but that was something he helped me with to organize everything um, I, when I first started my business my average job was about 125 to 150 a house I am now at 300 to 350 house because I changed my pricing, I changed my marketing to who I market to, and this is all because of Courtney. Um, overall, Courtney has helped me make my business more professional. I got more professional looking tools, I got some of the best equipment I can get. Um, I try to brand my company so everything has logos on it, you know, from my seal door, uh, my upholstery tool bag. I have my own line of spotter bottles that has my logo and all that information on it. All this is stuff that I learned from Courtney. Um, now, one of the biggest things you know, Courtney talked about was setting goals. So I used to set a lot of goals for 2019. One of those goals that was not listed on my sheet was a, a new van. Um, now this year, we're closing about to close out 2019. I just purchased a 2020 um, Dodge Promaster high top van and this was because I think because I was now this goal was not set on my list of goals because I thought it would be you know not achievable but because I was make reaching all those other goals I think it helped push me towards this goal which is uh, something I really wanted and I really thank Courtney for this because if I, I know if it wasn't for him and helping me grow my business this uh, probably wouldn't have happened so what I would like to say to you is if you are just starting out in your carpet cleaning business uh, or your cleaning business or you've been doing it for a couple years and you're not where you want to be, it, 
your business is not where you want it to be, I would definitely reach out to Courtney because he can definitely help. All I can tell you is he helped me tremendously. My first year in, I did over 100000 because I was listening to what he was doing. Pretty much everything he says or he shows online, I pretty much copy what he's doing and, uh, and I listen to him. He's called me a couple times. He always checks up on me. He's a really good guy. Uh, I think he really wants to help people grow their business and overall he wants the industry to have a better name and have a better reputation so uh, he's a really great guy and I would definitely reach out to him um, to see if he can help you out because he definitely helped me out